Hi, everybody. Welcome to Dash Brazil. I'm here today in Uruguay with Fernando Gutierrez, the chief market office for Dash Core team. Fernando, tell us how important it is to actually be here uh, with the local community at the most important event in Latin America. I think it's pretty important. Uh, conferences are always the start of many things. You don't close or achieve uh, a lot of things at the spot, but you talk with a lot of people, you meet a lot of people, you need to follow up afterwards and a lot of things start here in conferences. You also keep up with other projects, learn a lot. Um, also keep up with people you already knew from other other events or online and uh, it's important to stay in the ecosystem, to meet uh, local people, to touch what other projects are doing. So it's important, it's always a big effort both in resources and money and time and everything but we have a we only do a few events every year, but those we do um, are really useful. And because uh, Dascore Group is very focused in Latin America use cases, this conference uh, this conference was a must. We've been here in the past when I think in the Mexico edition three years, two or three years ago, and it was a, a great success. We were very happy with the results, so uh, we we wanted to come back, and it's it's been great. Good. Well, it's great to have uh, two core team members down here because people actually have a lot of important questions and shows the support as well for a lot of proposed owners like me. So that's a fantastic. And a few days ago, uh, Ryan announced the possibility of Dash move to a staking system. How how complicated is this? Uh, could be and, and what's the main strategy that the core team can can do to explain to everybody what's the biggest advantage for this to happen? Well, um, the difficulty of these changes that Ryan started the discussion the discussion about uh, last weekend will depend on the solutions that we finally adopt. Uh, the community has been very active this week, already discussing and throwing around ideas. Uh, Today, Friday, uh, we are going to uh, open a new section in the forum to uh, start uh, structuring this discussion with the final goal of uh, putting up some proposals so the master nodes can choose uh, what they want for the network in the future. But we started with a very um, little structure uh, yeah. this week. Now we are going to start channeling that so we can uh, move everyone towards the four or five decisions we need to make. Depending on what, what decisions those are, then the difficulty will be one or another. But in general, the changes are not extremely difficult. Uh, the protocol is very well prepared for certain things and we are talking about uh, well, depending what what we decide. I mean, the, the block allocation also could be done in different phases. We could do a reallocation very fast and dirty uh, to uh, solve the short-term situation, and then in a few months have the dynamic allocation that people seem to be preferring in discussions regarding regarding proof of stake or uh, deterministic uh, holders list that kind of stuff. Uh, not all are equally difficult, but they are all achievable in a short period of time. This is not as difficult as uh, building the platform, for example, that has taken a lot of time and people say, hey, if you took so long for evolution, platform plus DASPay, this is going to take years. This is not the case. This, this can be made much faster. So uh, I'm pretty confident that we'll see it very soon if the community rallies through and, and is able to achieve consensus around these, uh, these options. Well, I, I got to say that I was a little skeptical when I heard about it. I didn't even know this was this possibility. But uh, what I see that's very important is the fact that we do have core team, we have community members, we have a, a proposal owners. Everybody's showing a great deal of keeping the community together, trying to improve, trying to change, trying to adapt, to stay competitive. And this shows how, uh, uh, how strong the Dash community is on tough times regarding uh, the price being so low and everything else. So uh, on a technical perspective, how hard it would be to do this like uh, as a developer? I know you're not a developer as well, but how, how technical and how hard would that be to do it? We've been discussing internally. So um, again, it depends on what solution we finally uh, adopt, but they are doable in a in theory, uh, this year, I mean, 2020, a few months, depending on what we do, it will depend a lot on that. Um, I can say right now, um, when we start this more structured discussion, uh, probably we'll be able to provide better estimates. Uh, we want a big part of the team to be involved in these discussions with the community. We are going to do it in the forum because it's, it's the format that is more... Um, permanent, easier to search, and, and more ordered. I mean, if, if it's in a written form, 
I always think more about it, but chat is very fast and then it, it's very prone to half uh, thought. Um, um, to have thoughts. Uh, we will also be doing a few AMAs in the next few weeks with uh, key team members to, uh, so they can explain the different options, developers, right, and we'll, we'll be organizing that in the next few weeks. It's going to be a very interesting start of the year. Well, I think for the Dash community, I think that's important to see that everybody's working together to solve issues, problems, and keep the project uh, uh, up and running in a very competitive way. And, and for us as community members, I think whatever decision is done, or achieved by the master nodes. If you like it or not, we have to stick together and make this happen. So thank you very much once again, Fernando. I'll see you guys later. Ciao.